There we go. All right, now that's better. This is going to be a car lot job. We're not looking to take every nick and 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 uh, paint nick and everything and make sure no nicks or scratches are in this crap. He just wanted the body work done on it a little bit. Got to spray some primer on that tomorrow, right before we get ready to paint it. Block it with a soft sponge on this edge because it's round. And block this. Prime it and block it. Prime it and block it. See that? Hello, YouTube. Well, I tell you, man. I had a bad, bad day yesterday, man. I got this thing all taped off, everything ready. Crossed my T's, dotted my eyes, went over thing, went over all my edges, got it all ready. Plugged that paint in. Water-based paint, first time I ever shot it. And uh let's see if I can find it. This little nipple right here. Because I don't have a swivel on my gun, every time I turn a loop, it unscrewed and it blew off and I had water all over the floor in here. And it shook water all over this bumper cover. Shook it everywhere. And because it's water-based paint, I just took a wet rag, wiped it down a little bit, and tried to, let me think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a little bit more paint on that bumper cover there. A little tiny bit more. But anyway, the hood had splotches on it and this, that, and the other, so I I uh I took the air and you know blew the water a little bit and and the good thing about that was this is water-based paint. So I blew it and saved the hood, just air pressure, turned up Drew, drew my fan down to a dot and then blew the, blew the water and it, it faded off into the hood. I tried to do it here, it didn't work too well. So I hit it with, uh, you know, I tried to fan it in, fan it in, fan it in. And uh, that paint's really thin. Uh, it's not like a regular base coat, clear coat. So it runs real easy. Well, I didn't get any runs on the whole thing until that happened. I was really on my game with shooting the paint on there. It blew water all over here. I mean, that, that hose took off and it just just all over the front end of this car. And so, I tried to take my gun and cover you know and blow it over here and fade the water off in it and I, I put I put it on thick you know and it ran right down in the crack there and then started running this way and so I just let it dry I came back today asked the guy that give me the paint he gave that paint to me didn't even charge me nothing for it I guess he's trying to you know get me used to water-based paint and then you know of course i'll buy paint from him but uh it's definitely a, a different well it's different between a cat and a dog you know both of them have to eat and get fed but you know you gotta you, there's just different things about it that you gotta learn if you're going to be using water-based paint i haven't made up my mind yet if i like water-based paint or not but so, so so far so good He said I could come back the, to ne the next day and put the clear on. So I gotta take a, a tack rag and blow this thing off and tack it all down, wet the floor back down and apply my clear. Man, that made me so mad that I made that mistake by not making sure my nipples were were tweaked and, and tight, you know. You gotta have them, you know, can't be let your your nipples running around loose, you know. It's, it'll, 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 damn sure cause your hose to just go crazy you know but anyway other than that man it uh, it applies basically I think it's a little bit it, it applies a little bit different than uh, than regular base uh, it's wet wet so 
you don't have to wait for a dry time in between, you know. You can put it on there as pretty thick, you know. Uh, I'm saying decently, you know, decently thick. You can't try to fix screw-ups like that, of course. But, you know, I put, and it takes more coats to cover. And, uh, you know, with regular base, you can kind of cheat a little bit, and it'll feel a tiny imperfections because the paint is not as thick as regular base paint. So, you know, you got to be on your game when you prime something. You got to be sure and scuff it with, uh, you can't just do four, 400, you know, you need to do it with 800. So that's the difference on that. I can see, you know, tiny little places where I've, uh, tiny little flaws in the, in, in, in scratches that I've left with a scotch bright pad, the, the, the red one. But this is a car lot job and uh, it's turning out pretty good. So far, so good, man. I'm just so scared that I'm gonna be putting that clear on top of this uh, water-based paint and I hope it don't start lifting crap, you know. I hope it, uh, I pray, pray to God <laughs> it's gonna be okay, but uh, we'll just have to see. Anyway, I gotta get off here. My son, he had to stay home today. He missed an assignment. Brought his grades up from a B average all the way across the board. He was at, he was at B's, man. It, I was so proud of him and then he missed a couple assignments online and then it brought it down to a, a C. A C plus, you know, so I told him just to stay home and take care of his schooling because that's important. Anyway, get off here, get busy and get cracking with it, and we'll uh <laughs> we'll see you later. What's that? Parts here. Okay. All right. Well, I can say this. It don't got no runs on it. But I get so mad at myself because it ain't perfect, you know. It's got a little bit of orange peel on it, a little bit of dry spots, you know, on, you know, when you're putting the clear on. Just like you do any paint, man. If you don't catch it wet when you stop somewhere and continue, it's gonna have some dry spots on it. So now I gotta wet sand the damn thing and then buff it. It's just very frustrating, you know? But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get off here. I got other crap to do. I gotta go install some plugs with my son for my landlady in one of her rent houses. So I'll shoot you more videos later. It looks okay, Mark, but I ain't. I want to. I want to do it perfect, man, without having to buff it. <laughs> well, I don't really particularly like the color neither. What do you call it? Piss yellow. <laughs> Chevelle's gonna be here tomorrow. What year is it? The seventy. Seventy. Oh, the nineteen seventy Chevelle. Yeah, yeah. What we got to do? Fix the guts in the in the windows. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I'll try to have this. We'll fix that little back piece down there. They didn't paint it. They said it was too much. All right. Too rusty. Me and my son. Okay. Well, me and my son are gonna come over here and put all this stuff back on this pig and put some. I got some decal stripes I gotta put on it. He's thinking about putting some black racing stripes over the deck lid and over the top. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'll catch y'all later. Till next time. Limster out. When is that? Um